Hi, I'm Curtis Null, Superintendent of Conroe ISD. I hope that this message finds both you and your family well. The excitement continues to build as we get closer and closer to the first day of school next week. We look forward to seeing your students on campus. Now, I know for many of us, the concern is growing for this new COVID variant and the effects that it may have on our schools. We want you to know that we see and hear your concerns. We are also concerned about that. Today, I had an opportunity to be on a call with many doctors from Memorial Hermann, and they gave us a picture of our community outlook regarding COVID. What they told me was alarming. 99% of the people that are in the hospital and in the ICU are unvaccinated individuals. I would encourage you, implore you, to please have a conversation with your healthcare provider about the vaccine for you and your family. While we don't yet know the full impact that this Delta variant will have on our schools, we do know all too well the impact of closing schools has on our community and our children. Our kids need our schools to be open for their academic success and for their social and emotional well-being. And we will continue to do all that we can to keep our schools open and safe for your children. We need your kids to be in school and your kids need to be in school. We know what worked last year to keep our schools safe and open. Proper hygiene, keeping sick children at home, and proper mask wearing. We know as we enter this year that masks are not mandated, but I will encourage you to have your children wear masks. That will ensure their safety and the safety of all those around. It will also help ensure the safety and well-being of our employees. And you may be thinking, well, Employees have already had a chance to be vaccinated. Why does that matter? And I will tell you that this week alone, 40% of our positive COVID tests here in the school district have been with vaccinated individuals. Now, the good news is if they are vaccinated, they probably won't get as sick as they would if they weren't vaccinated. However, a positive COVID test means they must be out of school for at least 10 days. That has a huge impact on the learning environment for your child. Now, for me personally, I shared with you uh, last week that you may see me at times with a mask or without. But I will tell you, the conversation that I had today with those Memorial Hermann doctors has changed my outlook. Even as a vaccinated man, uh, I now intend and have been for all of this day wearing a mask when I enter meetings and when I go to campuses. During this spike of cases in our community, I will continue to wear a mask, even though I've enjoyed the summer of not wearing a mask. And I know we all want to be away from it. I will do what it takes to make sure that I don't get sick because I cherish school days. I want to be at work every day and I want to be at school. So I'm going to do all I can to make sure that I can be there. So what is it that we can do as a school district and a community to make sure our schools stay open? Well, we've talked about personal responsibility, and that starts, number one, with not sending sick children to school. That's really important. As a school district, we will continue to have an emphasis on proper hygiene. We will also have our cleaning regimen in place. We will continue our communication efforts that we had last year, where we will notify you if there's a positive test in your building, also a positive test within the classroom. This year, we will also add the opportunity for COVID-19 testing for free for all employees and all students. As we discussed last week, we will make changes to our protocols as needed based on current numbers in our community. As we see the numbers climbing now, we will have more restrictions on campuses. One example is next week. I know we all love the first day of school. There's something magical about walking our students in. But next week, we may have to limit the number of guests that are allowed in our buildings on the first day of school. We wanna make sure that everyone stays safe, you, your children, and our teachers. We may see additional changes in the coming weeks, like limitation of visitors, limiting large group sizes, etc., as we work to make sure that our schools can stay open. You can know that whatever the Delta variant throws at us, we will respond appropriately to make sure that we can keep your children safe. Now, I'd like to shift our conversation here to virtual school. If you remember back into the spring semester, we actually introduced you to the principal of our virtual school. We had worked very hard in Conroe ISD to prepare for a virtual school for this upcoming school year. We anticipated that the state would approve it, so we moved forward and hired that principal and had our procedures and application already in place. 
Unfortunately, the state did not approve virtual learning. So we had to back off of our plan and move on. Now, as the Delta variant has ramped up, there's been more and more call for a virtual option for our families. I actually had the opportunity to have a 30 minute personal one-on-one -on -one phone call with the Commissioner of Education from TEA, Mike Morath, on Tuesday evening. I pled once again uh, for them to consider allowing us to have virtual school, and once again, uh, that fell on deaf ears. So we feel like we did all that we could to make it happen. Unfortunately, it did not work out. And yet here we are, we find ourselves in a situation where we have all of our students that are under 12 years old, unable to be vaccinated. And some of you that live in unique circumstances and have medical situations in your household feel like you don't have any options with your family. So we've worked hard here in Conroe ISD to come up with an option. Today we are announcing a limited one semester only program for our pre-K through sixth grade Conroe ISD students. The reason we are standing this program up is because those students have not yet had a chance to be vaccinated and the current COVID levels in our community. This new program will require an application and priority will be given to families that have unique special circumstances. I wanna to emphasize to you that this is not virtual school like we all became accustomed to over the last year. This is not intended to be a replacement for in-person instruction. In-person instruction is the best way to educate your children. This is an option for those of you that feel like you cannot send your child to in-person instruction because of your family circumstance. This program is simply an alternative to you having to withdraw your child and take them to either homeschool or to a different online charter program. It's meant as a bridge program for those families that have full intention of returning their students to in-person instruction in January in Conroe ISD after you've had the opportunity to seek a vaccination. Now, one special note that I'd like to put out there is to say that you will have a Conroe ISD teacher as your teacher in this program, but it will likely not be a teacher from your current school. So you would understand that by taking this option, you will be giving up your seat in your current school, in your current class, to move to a new school in a new virtual class with a virtual teacher. We will not be asking our Conroe ISD teachers to teach both in person and online. Our Conroe ISD teachers that are teaching in person will be solely focused on in person learning, and the teachers in this program will be focused solely on our virtual learners. Now, there's much more detail and information about this program located on the website. I encourage you to go and visit that. And please note that the application process is now open and will close on Tuesday. We understand that this system is not perfect, but we have stepped up and stepped out to do our very best to serve our community. Now, I know that that program, our virtual program, will only serve a very few number of our students. But for many of you, you are looking forward to that return to school next Wednesday, and we cannot wait to see you. It's going to be a big week next week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I can't wait to see you all on campus on the first day of school. Have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you soon.